Ready? Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome back to my class. I'm gonna continue talking about the electric energy and electric power. I'm very glad that any of you dropped my course and we have to miss it today. <laughs> so, uh, last class we talked about four um, basic electric magnitudes, uh, voltage, current, power, and energy. I just mentioned those, and we, we talked a little bit about voltage. And we, we uh, uh, got an example uh, using my battery charger of my computer, which is here today. And Andy gave me these uh, this, uh, values. He read these from the nameplate in, in, in the battery charger. So I gave you some homework. I, <laughs> I, I don't know if you did it, but uh, let's continue. And let's talk a little bit about uh, current and power. Well, I'm gonna re uh, remind some remind you some some basic stuff about voltage. It's uh, the uh, voltage is the ability or the availability of, of electric energy. It tells you that there is electric energy available there. If you can read the voltage, it's because you can uh, count on, on some on some electric energy. Okay. So the units, uh, which is very important, the units is basically volts. And the symbol is, is uh, capital V. So you can tell from this example that uh, in this uh, charger, the input voltage can go from 100 to 240 volts. And the output voltage is basically fixed or constant. Uh, and it's going to be 18.5 volts. Okay. So now uh, current. Current means the flow or indicates the flow of electrons. And as uh, you probably know, electron is the basic uh, is a basic uh, charge carrier and is the ba basic uh, agent to transport energy or to transfer energy from one point to another. Or basically, what it means is the flow of energy. <coughs> the units are amperes, and the symbol is A. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what can you tell from this example? So the input is 1.7 amperes. The input current is 1.7 amperes, yeah. and the output current is a little, a little point, bigger. Yeah, a little bigger. 3.3.5 amperes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you are using that that little uh, charger, you, your flow of electrons is given by the current. If the current is, is zero, what does it mean? No what do you think if the current is zero? No electricity. No power. No flow of energy. Yeah. No transfer of energy, yeah. basically. Okay. You can have voltage, but if the current is zero, it means that the energy is not being transferred. So you are not doing any activity or work with the energy, basically. Okay. So now let's uh, talk a little bit about energy and power. Let's uh, start with... Uh, uh, most of you, I think you are, you have a science background, so most of you have the concept of energy. Uh, can you give me some ideas about this concept, energy? A short definition for you might be energy. Energy is, is ability to do work. That's basic. That's very good. So let's say it's uh, it's related to the capacity or ability to perform, I'm using a little fancy word, but just to make it a little more formal, okay? To perform uh, the work, to perform work, or to perform an activity. Okay? So, for example, if I, if I move this chair from here to here, I am giving some energy, I'm using some energy to do that work, to do that activity, okay? Yeah. And if I do it like this, what did I do different? And you what was the same? The distance is the same. The distance is the same? Yeah, but uh, you use more energy. Do you think I use more energy? Huh? Or I did it just faster? Faster, yes. Which implies the energy basically is the same. Okay. The energy I use because the activity was the same, the work was the same. What did I do? 
just move this chair from here to here. Let's say I I, I did it uh, from the in, the in the same distance, you know, yeah. and it's the same chair. The difference is just the, the energy, the activity was the same, the work was the same, so the energy was the same. But what what was different? The power was different. So let's go to the definition of power to see what's the difference. So power is basically the energy per unit time. Okay. So it means uh, energy. Excuse me. I'm use. I'm gonna use letters P for power. P is energy over time. If the time is, is shorter, what's going to happen if the energy is the same? Power is, Power is, is, is higher. higher. Yeah. So this means that uh, when I use this, when I, when I do this faster, I am using more power, you know, because I am probably stronger, you know? If I do it slowly, slowly, not using that much power, you know? But I am I'm spending the same energy because I'm doing the same activity. You know? You got the idea of the difference of power? Mm. How yeah. about you carry the chair on your shoulder? How about the energy in your energy and power? It's gonna be the same. Energy? It, it is the same energy because I'm moving this, the, this chair the same distance. But there is an additional activity, which is what? Which is which? I'm, I'm, Lift it up. I'm lifting so the chair. So in the, the difference is in, in, that, in that activity, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. The activity, if I move the, the chair, carry the chair here, you know, I move the chair from this point to this point, the activity is basically the same, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But what, what I did uh, extra was that I lift the, ch the chair up, you know? <coughs> what? Time is about to finish, so uh, I will ask you a question. How? Uh, Two uh, small things before finishing. Units for power, watts for letter W. So it means that what's the maximum power I can I can I can get from that little charger? Sixty five watts. watts. You know? Yeah. But it means it's, it's not energy, it's the rate uh, uh, how, how fast I can get energy from that little device. Yes. You know? mm -hmm. That's the, the idea of, of power. And the uh, uh, units for energy, uh, basically kilowatts hour. Mm -hmm. So it get, it, if, you see, if you see here, energy is power times time. Mm -hmm. So as you see, uh, this is power mm -hmm. and this is time. So it's, it's just uh, you know, the relation between energy and time. Mm -hmm. Do you have any question? Um, for current, you say it's the flow of electrons. Yeah. Um, do protons flow? Do protons at all carry power? Yeah, they do. They do. There are two different kind of charge. Charge. Which is a is a different is a like a wider or broad concept. Okay. Charge. Uh -huh. You know, and charge is the uh, basic unit to transfer electric energy. The basic agent to transfer. Electric energy. Any more questions? Is my time out? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. We will continue talking in the next class. I hope you do don't drop this course. <laughs>